My name is Anne Mulhall. I teach the seminar module Reading, Gender and Sexuality. Um, the, on the module we focus on, I guess we focus on theory and on literary texts, but we're also looking at the kind of development really of ideas about gender and sexuality in, in, in the West primarily from really the 19th century onward. So we look at uh, sort of sexological texts of the 19th century, the sort of ways in which gender and sexuality were codified really in medical and psychological terms in that period, in ways that are still hugely influential on the way that we think about gender and sexuality now in the contemporary West in particular. Um, and alongside looking at those kinds of frameworks, you know, also we'd be looking at psychoanalytic frameworks, we'd be looking at, um, I suppose, you know, critical race feminism, at intersectional feminist theory, we'd be looking at queer theory, obviously, as well, uh, post-colonial theories, looking at those kinds of frameworks uh, in conjunction with doing really close readings of literary texts. But when we do those kinds of close readings of literary texts, we also think about those texts in relation to contemporary issues. So a text like Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. It's a novel that is really about a, a near future dystopia that is basically a theocracy where women are um, under kind of stringent control. Um, and we'd be looking at that alongside issues around kind of reproductive justice and reproductive politics for women in the present as well. And sort of reading those uh, with each other in a way, because I think for this course, it's not just about being able to perform a brilliant analysis of a text, although that is also one of the aims of the course, but it's also about um, kind of engaging really in, in issues that are of really great contemporary significance uh, when it comes to, to feminism, when it comes to sexuality, and, and looking at those in a global frame as well. So looking at those in terms of issues around geo, geopolitics, issues of migration and race in particular, and really sort of trying to build a kind of quite complex but grounded understanding of what reading gender and sexuality really means in the contemporary moment as well.